Hey everybody, this is TJR. It is Monday, so that means it's time for another edition of Songs You Need to Hear Now. 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 This week I've got three tracks that I want to share with you and check out and hope that you will be as excited as I am about them. Up first is a song entitled Do Your Worst by a band called Rival Sons. And this is not my first exposure to Rival Sons. They have caught my ear in the past. They're definitely catching my ear right now with this new track, which is the first advanced single for their upcoming as yet untitled sixth album, which is expected to be released in early 2019. According to lead singer Jay Buchanan, he and guitarist Scott Holliday hunkered down in a threadbare shack deep in the South Tennessee woods and basically said they sweated it out and just wrote for one week straight. Uh, this new song, Do Your Worst, is from that writing session. Jay Buchanan describes the song as a whiskey nightmare crawling with copperheads. If you look at the artwork for the single, you'll see the teeth of what uh, might be a dog, but what also might be a wolf. Uh, I think that this particular image sums up how I feel about this song. It has bite. The backbone of the song is a killer, fuzzed out, distorted guitar riff from Hell, which is in direct contrast to the song's very gospel influence anthem sing-along chorus. I love this track right from the start, and it makes me anxious to hear the entire album. Now, in stark contrast to that last song is If I Could Only Fly by Dean Wareham and Chevelle Sombre. Hopefully I've said that last name correctly. This track is for an upcoming collaboration between these two artists, which they describe as Western dream pop. The album features covers of classic cowboy songs, as well as tracks by Magnetic Fields, Bob Dylan, and others. This cover was originally written by Blaze Foley and originally recorded by Merle Haggard. For me, this particular cover version hovers somewhere between the lo-fi acoustic work of Beck and the expansive musical journeys of U2 during the period that was Joshua Tree and Rattle and Hum. And hopefully that description has piqued your interest. Third and last, but certainly not least, is a track entitled Bass Ackwards by Kurt Vile. It is the second advanced single for his next album to be entitled Bottle It In, due out on October 12th on Matador Records. This is a very laid back, psychedelic, acoustic driven song. And once again, I hear the Beck influence. At nearly 10 minutes in length, this track manages to be sprawling and laid back at the same time. But mostly as a guitarist, I just love plugging my accent and jam into this, this track, let me tell you. And if you're a guitarist, uh, especially let me know if you feel the same way about this song. But even if you're not a guitarist, please go check out this wonderful Southern California acoustic influenced bit of psychedelia. Please check out these songs on Apple Music, Tidal, and Spotify, and at the artist's official YouTube channel. Let me know what you think. Did you check these out? How did you feel about them? Did you feel the same way I did? Please share your thoughts. And also, if there are new tracks out there that you think need more attention, please let us all know, including me, in the comments. I'm very curious. Everybody, thanks so much for watching. As always, I just really appreciate everybody who subscribes. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the button. Also, click notifications so you can know when I release new videos. And thank you again to everybody who shares these videos on their social media. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Everybody take care. We'll see you next Monday with more new tracks. Bye.